Hey, Missy. Missy. Yes, I'm talking to you. How are you doing? Missy, turn around. <clears throat> Look at me. What's the matter? What's wrong, Missy? <laughs> okay. You don't want to pay attention to me too much. There you go. There you go. Here, I'll scratch that for you. There you go. How does it feel? Feels good? Of course. <laughs> Why do you do that little thing moving your head back? Okay, that's it. Be. You wanna be on my vi you wanna be on my video? We can talk about different things. What do you want to talk about? You don't want to talk about anything, do you? Okay, well, I'm going to go make some coffee right now. Coffee. Start off with my Mr. Coffee Maker. How much coffee I want in the coffee maker. Let me turn this thing so that you can see the numbers. So it's six. Drink six cups of coffee. It's just that I have a cup so big that when I make the coffee, it comes out like that. I have my coffee. I feel a lot better. So, you know, Missy is right here under the thing looking for something to eat. And I just want to talk a little bit because today is Wednesday. It's like the middle of the week. I've been thinking about a lot of different things lately. Philosophical stuff. But one thing I want to say is that I actually have like this new software. So I'm going to play with it for a little while and experiment. I'm probably not going to use it that much because I got so used to making things without using, you know, editing software. So, you know, there was some, ed there was a couple of videos I actually used some type of editing software that came with that flip camera, but I wasn't too happy with that. But this one I like a lot better. And uh, I got it from uh, from the Apple app thing. It's called Real Director. R-E-E-L. Real director and it's a really simple software that somebody like me who's not technologically literate can use it's very easy simple to use and I can use it right here in my little iPad mini which is what I use I haven't tried it on my iPad my iPod touch but you know maybe I'll give it a try and see if it'll work on that too although it was originally designed for the iPhone which I don't have But um, I was thinking about a lot of stuff. And the fact is that, when you know, when I make videos, somebody had made a comment on one of my videos about, you know, the fact that I have 300 and whatever number of subscribers and I made over 500 videos. And, you know, why do I keep making videos? Well, the reason why I make videos is because YouTube exists, <laughs> period. I mean, there's no, there's no real great meaning or purpose or whatever i just make videos because i can make them and as long as i can make them and as long as the technology is there i'll do it and that's what i do you know it's like it's just my way of expressing myself i talked before once about how i make you know i have like tapes i was just cleaning up around here and i realized i have boxes and boxes and boxes like literally thousands <laughs> i mean in the plural thousands of cassette tapes like thousands of hours of recording that I've done over a period of about 30 years just talking out ideals so to me this is just a next step it's just you know something else to do with just a camera now and so I, at that time I wasn't thinking about subscribers because nobody subscribed to a cassette tape so I, you know to me it's no big deal I don't even think about it you know and even with all these changes with Google okay fine I'll adjust and that's it and if they go away, you know, if, if Google goes out of business, which they probably will soon, because people will get upset with them and you know, the whole thing will end, something else will come along and I'll just get on that. I'd I make adjustments. That's what I do. And that's what I'm about. You know, I'm not about trying to overturn a system or overthrow anything. People own businesses or whatever, and they do whatever they want, and they suffer the consequences or they reap the rewards of it if they do a good thing, you know, and they'll make adjustments too. If, you know, if their profits start to fall, people start leaving or the most talented people go, 
you know, but to be completely honest, we're not really special. You know, we're just people who make videos. And that's it. And until we become special, you know, we really don't have much of a say. You know, we have to be special. A special usually means we have to produce revenue for somebody. <laughs> that's what it is. It's not about talent or about anything else. This is business, and it runs on the principles of business. But with that said, that's, you know, pretty much what I wanted to say. So let me just take a moment to think for a moment. <laughs> think, Philip, before you say your next words. Choose your next words wisely. They could be your last. The thing is that everybody has their own idea of what they think is important in life. And, you know, if something is really important and you really want to spend the time and energy and effort working on it, then do it. I mean, that's the way it is with my paintings or my writings or other things. You spend a lot of time on it. But, you know, some things just aren't that important to me. And I'm going to be honest about it. You know, a long time ago when I was a kid, I used to hang out with a group of people who felt like they wanted to change the world. And, you know, I hung out with them because they were very enthusiastic and I was very inspired by those people. And the funny thing was that when I hung around them and got to know them well enough, I began to realize they weren't all that dedicated to changing the world. They were more interested in talking about changing the world. But, you know, they really couldn't change the world anyway, even if they tried to do things to change the world. The world changes in the way it wants to change. It has a personality. It has a sort of awareness, if you will. And that's, yeah, that's crazy talk, but, you know, it's <laughs> what I think. And it will change when it wants to, if it wants to. And if it's headed for destruction, it's going to go there. And that's it. You know. And if it's headed for something greater, that's where it's going to go. You know, I do the best I can. I follow what I feel is right. You know, I believe in doing what I can to help the environment, to help other people, to be a contributor to the community. But sometimes you have to step back and put things in perspective. And I think that's what's important. You know, I'm always going to express myself. If this medium is here, fine. If it's not, I'll do something else. It's just that simple. That's really all I have to say for now. It's just me making my Wednesday rant or whatever you want to call it. That's not even ranting. I'm just talking. That's all.